this video, we're going to graph a feasible region given a set of constraints. It says, use the polygon tool to graph the feasible region for the following constraints. Uh, so online, you guys are going to use that polygon tool, but I'll just to graph this by hand here. Uh, we have four different equations. We've got a vertical line here, horizontal line here, and then we have two linear equations. We're going to need to put those linear equations in slope-intercept form to graph them. So we need to isolate y on one side. I'll go ahead and write that out here, x plus y, x plus 2y, less than or equal to 14. Subtract x on each side, that'd be 2y, less than or equal to negative x plus 14. Divide by 2, and that's y, less than or equal to negative 1 half, x plus 7. So now this inequality is in slope-intercept form. I need to do the same thing for uh, x plus y less than or equal to 9. I subtract the x over. So y is less than or equal to negative x plus 9. And now I have four equations that I can graph. I'm going to label them. This is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's go ahead and draw a coordinate plane. And let's graph the easy ones first. Let's graph uh, equations 3 and 4. So 3, we're going, we're going to draw a line right here. This is a vertical line at 0. So we'll draw one here. This would be equation 3. And it says greater than or equal to zero. So x being greater than or equal to zero, all the x values are positive out here. So those are greater than zero. So we'll point the solutions or shade our shading to the right. So I'm gonna just mark that that's blue. Let's go black for the fourth equation. And that's a horizontal line on the y-axis, or the x-axis, I mean. It says y is greater than or equal to zero, so we need to shade upwards toward those positive y values. And then we're going to, let's use purple here for equation one. We're gonna start that at seven, so Let's go ahead and mark 7 up on this graph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we'll mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 here on that right side. So we mark this as 7. And we're going to go down 1 over 2, which would be this point here. That's a bold line. It says less than or equal to. So we're going to draw a bold line just like this. We need to check 0, 0 in here to see which way to shade it. So that'd be 0 less than or equal to negative 1 half times 0 plus 7. So 0 less than or equal to 7. That is true. That means we need, we need to shade toward uh, 0, 0. So our shades for this one are shading this direction. And then the last equation, we're going to graph that one. We'll graph that one in pink. So that's go to positive 9 here. That'd be 1, 2, that spot here. Going to go down 1, over 1. Down 1, over 1. So this line would look like so, we need to check 0, 0. That'd be 0 less than or equal to zero, or negative 0 plus 9. So that's just 0 less than or equal to 9. That is true. So we need to shade this direction. And you can see all these shades are meeting Right? 
all these shades that we got four different arrows there they're all meeting in this region right here so we want to kind of highlight that region where they're all meeting and that's where the solutions lie for this system of inequalities <laughs>